Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Finally, finally, we are doing the review video for the heated gear. So, huge, huge shout out to Gerben for working with me on this video, sponsoring this video. Um, they were nice enough to send out these uh, heated gloves. These things are pretty awesome. We're gonna do the unboxer right now, and I'll be showing you guys exactly how they work. Um, after this, we're gonna be going to uh, Bergen Harley Davidson to pick up my diner. So it's a perfect way to try them out today. I gotta take an Uber over there, get the bike back to the house. So we'll try them out today. Um, they also sent me this um, heated liner as well, which we're gonna be doing a separate video for this one. So this one came in a smaller box. Overall though, the box is really nice. So you guys can see how everything comes nice and packaged. Really, really good quality stuff. We'll go ahead and open it for you guys. I'll show you how everything comes in. I already took it, um, I took it out last night. I opened it just to try it out, see how it was. Um, and I did leave the batteries charging overnight. So yes, these are battery charged. They're not wired. I am not, I'm not a big fan of wired stuff and we'll get into that in a few minutes. But this is the box right here, opens up. And you have your two gloves right here. Pretty cool stuff. Within the box, you're gonna have this box right here for the batteries. I already went ahead and took them out so you guys can take a look at them. This is one. So it's one battery per glove. And I'll show you exactly how everything works right now. So this is the glove right here. Really nice. Um, the inside of it is nice and insulated. It feels really soft. So like I was mentioning before, these are not wired. These just use a battery to turn them on, which is super cool. Reason why I don't like having the wired stuff is because I gotta put stuff, I gotta put my gloves on my jacket and I'm gonna wire it to the bike. What in case in an event where I gotta hop off the bike and I'm so wired, it's just, I don't know, I don't like too much having the thought of hiring me wired to the bike, like I just, I don't like that. But anyways, this is one of the batteries here, so I'm gonna show you exactly where this goes. So right here on top, <clears throat> next to where your wrist is gonna be at, you're gonna have this pocket on the, um, the glove. Inside the pocket, you have a plug, right? That connects to the battery here. I left the batteries charging overnight, so they're nice charged. Should be perfect. We plugged it in, as you can see, it turned blue, right? So now all we gotta do is just stuff this battery in the in the uh, pocket right here, which is pretty cool. Stuff it in there, that as well. And then it zippers up, so it, you still have that nice clean look. You can't even tell anything was there, right? So this is the right hand. I'm gonna put it inside, and you can probably see like a little bulk of it right there, of the battery, but you don't feel it, which is good. Um, you're also able to adjust this so you can tighten everything up. And this is real simple right here. So all we're gonna do is hold down the power button. It's gonna flash on green. It has three modes. So the green obviously being, you know, the, the lightest one of them all. So it's just a little warm. Um, if you click down, it's gonna turn orange. That's gonna make it even warmer. That's the second stage. Now, if you wanna increase it even more, you press it down again and it turns red. So at this point, it's gonna be warming everything up a bit more. This is the hottest uh, mode there is. Now your hands are really gonna stay really warm with this because you're gonna have everything on top of the palm. And then it also runs through in the bottom of your hand as well. These are also water resistant, they're reflective, and I feel it warming up already. So this is awesome. Really cool. I think there's only one best way to keep trying this on right now and to give you guys my in-depth and honest opinion about this. It's just to go out on the road right now. To turn it off, you just press it down and that's it. And you are good to go. Um, let me put in the other battery in the other one, and then I gotta call this Uber to uh, take me over to Bergen Harley, pick up the Dyna, and then if you wanna know why the Dyna's been at the shop for over a week, tune in for the rest of the video and you'll find out why. All right, look at her. Yeah, I missed that bike. She looks so clean from here. So I turned the gloves on um, like five minutes ago just to have a little head start on them. See how they feel. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> toasty. All right, so you see this one, I have it on the highest one right now. There she is. See you later. All right, baby girl, I missed you. All right, 
So, let's get back to the uh, review of the gloves. So I did order these in a size medium. All right, so another thing you should know is that you're also able to access your phone, uh, your touchscreen phones, because on both index fingers, you're gonna have this little uh, touchscreen pad right here. So it's gonna be easy for you to just maneuver everything around, touch your phones. Size medium, like I said before, you got some uh, reflective, some 3M right here, uh, waterproof. Um, you're able to adjust the straps. Uh, the heating lining, like I said before, is both on the palm and in the bottom of your hand. So you're going to have a nice heating all around your hand, not just like on top or not just on the bottom, which is a plus. And just to let you know, it is a, uh, it is a chilly day out here in dirty Jersey. High of 40 degrees. So there is no wind flow at all that I feel through my hands either. I gotta say, the materials on this are really good. Like, it just feels like a nice, good, quality, well-made glove. Everything's put well together. And they're not crazy bulky either. I mean, they're, they're like a bit bulky. But, I mean, I'm still able to like, you know, move my fingers around really good. My hands feel like they can breathe really good. Because, you know, some gloves are so thick and tight that you know, you, you have a hard time trying to grab your levers or whatever. <laughs> I miss this bike. This bike has been in the shop all week, man. All week. Now my hands are really starting to get like really, really warm. Like, so I think even like at the highest point right now on high, it's a little bit too high for me. Just because it's like 40 degrees, um, I guess if it was like 30 around there, then yeah, I would I would keep it a high. But I think on a day like this, 40 degrees, medium should be really, uh, really good. It'll be perfect. All right, so we're gonna get on the highway, test them out out here, see if the high winds will affect it in any way or if I feel anything. Nothing at all, man. So, cruising at uh, 75 right now. No wind. I had purchased those uh, those uh, thick brake gloves from uh, Cycle Gear a while ago. And yeah, they were a bit insulated. They, they weren't heated, but you were still able to get all that cold wind. I was feeling it through my fingers, which sucked. But with this, it's nothing. Cruising at 80, and you get no airflow. So, yes, top A, A1, baby. Highly, highly recommended. I'm not saying it because they sent these out to me, but I wouldn't lie to you either. These gloves are amazing, they're really good. All right, now, if you're wondering why I took the bike in, is because I had stripped one of the bolts um, that stick out from the head. So you see where, the, where your head is at and your flange goes for you to um, install your uh, exhaust pipe, your header pipe. So, yeah, I kind of messed one of those up a bit. And, and I took it in for them to um, replace that that bolt so they ended up replacing both bolts um and then they actually just took the engine head off and then they noticed that on the cylinder inside there was like a little bit of rusting but um it was fine it's like i guess it was just from what they told me that happens when the bike just sits for a few years um 
this bike is basically still brand new. This is a 2015 Dyna Lowrider with only 2,000 miles. When I first got it, it only had 1,800 miles. So most likely this bike has been sitting for four years and that's the reason why. Maybe some you know condensation from where it was at. But it's an easy cleanup, it's nothing major. At first when they told me about it, I got super scared about it. And I thought that I had a, I was gonna have to drop a whole ton of money and replace the cylinders or whatever, but it's just a quick little easy cleanup. And I even heard from uh, Jerry that his brother told him that if anything, I, I could have just like, just used the bike and as it was used more and more, it would have just gone away by itself. But whatever, they, uh, they did a full inspection. They make sure that the bike was 100% as well. So yeah, everything is top A with this bike. This bike was a good buy, man. <laughs> I love this thing. Also, great news. So I looked today and the last video, if you saw, you saw me mentioning about the, the Thrasher Supply Rises that I ordered for this bike. Originally ordered them black. I mean, I originally ordered them chrome, but they came in black. So I had to send them back and I sent them back a month ago. But the US Postal Service sucks. So today, a month later, is when the the riser is delivered. They got delivered today. Mind you, it was going to PA, so which is like next day delivery type of thing. So um, they got delivered today, and hopefully it should only take like maybe a day or two for them to um, to send me the right ones back, which are the um, the chrome ones, and I should have those installed on my bike hopefully by next week and that thing is going to look really good beautiful view i just love the fact that i have this view right around my house awesome all right, guys, I think that's going to be it. Do I highly recommend these gloves? Yes. I give them a top score of 10 out of 10. Super warm, waterproof. You're able to access your phone. They're 3M, so they're reflective. They feel great, and they're not super bulky. So everything you need in a heated glove is what you're going to have in here. Feels great, man. Um, I'm going to be linking down the link down below for the website where I got it from. So once again, a huge, huge shout out to Gerbin for working with me on this. Um, tune in for the next video. I'm gonna be doing the one on the liner. I just wanted to get a little colder. I wanted to get into like the low 30s um, in order to uh, to try that one out. And then I um, obviously have the gloves on too. So you get the full in-depth review of it. So tune in for that. If you're new to my channel, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And that's gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.